Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to draw this speedometer from scratch inside PowerPoint and animate it to wherever you like, and you can even get it to return. So let's dive into it. Firstly, we're going to go into the editor in PowerPoint. We're going to go File, New, Blank Presentation, Layout, Blank. The next thing we're going to do is to create the arch. So we click on Shapes and we choose Arc from Basic Shapes and then click once to draw it out. We'll now drag the yellow dot down until we've made the outline shape. I'm now going to hold shift and drag it from the corner to make it bigger. And then I'm going to go format shape and change the line so it's nice and thick so we can see what's going on. I'm going to change it to 25 point and I'm just going to make it a nicer blue to start with. I'm also going to go onto cap type and choose round. So that's about the size we want it. Now we're going to draw the needle that goes in the middle. So I'm going to start with a blank slide because this requires two shapes. But using the techniques I'm going to use here can be really helpful when working with shapes. So the first shape we need is a trapezoid, which is this one in basic shapes. Then we're going to need two circles, one for the top and one for the bottom. I'm going to make the bottom one seven centimeters. I'm going to hold down shift and control to copy one up the top. And I'm going to make this 3.5 centimeters. I'm now going to join up the trapezoid with the circles. And you can see that as I drag it, it actually snaps to the edge. We're going to align everything to the middle. We just want to make sure this shape is in the right place vertically. And so is this one. That's pretty close. And what we're going to do now is to select all of the shapes, go to Shape Format, go to Merge Shapes, and then hit Union. And this gives us the shape we want in the middle. Just going to make sure it's the right colour. Turn off the outline. And now I'm going to press Control C to copy it in and resize it down. Align it to the middle and I'll also align the arc to the middle. Excellent. We're getting close. The next thing we're going to want to do is to animate it. And to do that, we're going to use something called spin. So we'll click on the animations part of the ribbon and then we'll click on spin. But look what happens. It spins from the middle, which isn't what we want. So I'm going to show you how you can make it spin correctly. We'll press Ctrl Z to undo that. And now we're going to draw in a circle. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to make this circle grey for now, with no outline, just so we can see where it is. And the important part is that this circle is going to be how the rotation of the spin works. So if I send it to back, I'm just going to make a smaller circle, put it right in the middle of this circle by pressing shift to select both of them and then aligning both of them. I'm just going to make that a tiny bit bigger by holding down shift and control. And then I'm going to bring this to the front. Now I'm going to line it up exactly where I want it for the rotation. And then I'm going to click delete on this one. And the important part here is that I press shift to select both of them and group them. Now, when we go to animations and spin, it will spin correctly. Next, I can go to shape fill and select no fill, but I just want to do that on the big circle. So I'm going to click on this and click on the big circle and then go to no fill. And now when we animate it, you'll see it spins from the center, which is exactly what we want. Now we can click on the whole thing, and rotate it down to its starting position. We can go to the animation pane and double click on the spin animation. And it's up to us how much we'd like it to spin. 
I'm going to select custom and type 160 degrees. It's important to press enter here, otherwise it won't save the setting. So if I play this now, it very slowly goes up to there. I'm going to make it do it in about one second because it's a bit too slow at the moment. And if you want, you can put a small bounce end on it. So finally, we can just add in the little speed markers that I had. We'll click to add a line. I'll just start off with it flat. And then I'm going to go to the width and just make it one centimetres. I'm now going to press Control Shift C on this and Control Shift V on that. And that copies the exact format with the rounded caps. Now I'm going to drag it to where I think the speed might be. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to press Shift and Control to create the one on the other side. Then Control D to duplicate. And this one will need rotating. So I'm going to go to the rotation. Select 90 for this one. Align it to the middle. Control D again. This one's going to be 135. Control D again. This one will be 45. Great. There's my speedo. Looking good. And finally, I can go to animations, animation pane, double click on the needle that's in the middle. And if I want to, I can make it auto reverse, which means it will animate up a little bounce end and then animate back again. Just quite a nice effect. And I'll just duplicate this slide. Format the background. Make the background blue. And then I can select everything that I have. Make that shape outline white. Make this shape outline white. And make this shape fill white. And now you can see how easy it is to manipulate it to any colour scheme and the animation will still be there. Excellent. There you go. Just in a few minutes, we've drawn something completely from scratch and animated it directly in PowerPoint. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.